boys and girls. It's great to see you again over here at Mrs. Nab's Reading Corner. I hope that your week has started off well and that you're ready for another lesson today with our story, Destiny's Gift. Before we get in our focus for today, I want to review what we discussed last lesson. Last lesson, we looked at learning about multiple meaning words and how the words in some of our stories have multiple meanings and that it's very important we read carefully to understand how the author is using that word in the text. I left you with a task of using one of the words here that has multiple meanings for you to talk with your teacher or tell someone in your household what one of these words and their meanings might be. So if you haven't done that, I hope you can take a, take a moment to look at these words, pick one of them, and tell someone what you believe the meanings are of these words. It's very important that we pay close attention to those words, boys and girls, because that helps us understand what the whole story is about. And remember, boys and girls, this week we are lo looking at literature text. And real quickly, just a review, let's review what literature text is, because it's different from informational text. So we always want to make sure we have our brains ready for what it is that we're going to be reading. And remember, literature text has a beginning, middle, and end, as well as characters. And the character can, the character or characters may have a problem, and there's a solution. And sometimes the characters may learn a lesson throughout the story. So with Destiny's Gift, just to review, we are looking at the characters of Mrs. Wade and Destiny. And Mrs. Wade has a bookstore that Destiny loves to visit every day because Destiny loves to read. She loves words. She loves learning new words. And Mrs. Wade and Destiny have a very special relationship because of books and because of reading and because of learning new words. So the problem in the story is when Mrs. Wade is facing the possibility of the bookstore having to close. So Destiny and the entire neighborhood rally around Mrs. Uh, Wade so that they don't, so that she doesn't have to close. And on my, on the lesson that we did last, we looked at a word that talked about that in, in the story that we don't know if it ends up closing or not. Um, but we do know that we learned that these characters have a, a bond and a relationship with one another that goes beyond the bookstore and books itself. But books and the words themselves brought those two together. So today, we're gonna continue looking at characters. And just a reminder up here, we have, we talked a little bit about this last week when we were together and we looked at the introduction, introducing of Destiny's Gift, that characters have traits and they have physical traits, which are the outside, so what we look like on the outside, as well as personality traits. Now remember, the physical traits are what we can see with our eyes. So the color of hair, how tall someone is, the color of their eyes, uh, what kind of boots they're wearing or shoe, shorts or like what color shirt. Um, the personality traits are the ones we can't see. It's the ones that the author uses descriptive words to describe those personality traits of that character. So it could be the thoughts. That's why we have a little think bubble here. It could be the words, that's that speech bubble. Feelings, that's why we have a heart because that's how we feel. And as well as the actions, what the character does. So what we know about characters physically as well as what we learn based on what the character says, does, and feels, that's understanding characters. And understanding the characters is important because then we can see things from their perspective and we can understand why the author chose to use certain descriptive words about the character. So before we get into looking at that, we're gonna, we are going to look at a question ahead of time because we wanna know our purpose for reading today. We are gonna revisit the text and I am gonna leave you with a little bit of a task again today, uh, but don't worry, it's very simple. It's one that you can work with at, with someone at home or you can work with your teacher. All right, so I'm gonna move my character anchor chart out of the way just a little bit. I'm gonna move it down here, scoot it on down. And I'm going to look. Oops. Oh, that's just not working, so let's just take it down completely. I'll just move it out of the way, it's getting a little stuck. All right, here we go, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, so let's look at this question that we have here, and it says, What does the following quote tell you about Destiny's character? 
So let's read the quote and the choices, and then we'll kind of dissect the question and the choices and then go back in the text. <clears throat> I want to make a special gift for Mrs. Wade, but I can't think of anything. So what does this quote tell us about her character? Does it tell us that destiny is kind, that destiny is selfish, destiny is friendly, or destiny is smart? So we actually are what? going to have to figure out when we're looking at our character, are we looking at her physical or her personality? So are we looking at the outside of her or the inside? I hope you said inside because that's what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking at the inside of Destiny. Not actually, but we're going to be looking at her personality traits and, and what uh, we can come up with, with, how this quote describes her. So it's very important that we understand what these character traits mean, and we're going to talk about those. But before we do that, we always, what do we want to do? That's right, go back into the text. So I'm going to go back to where I know this is happening in the story. And with your questions today, they gave you the page number so you'll know where to go. So this one I know automatically that I'm going to go back to page 102 and 103 because that's where this quote is. And do I just read where the quote is? No. Nope. What benefits us if we read a little bit before and a little bit after? So I'm going to go ahead and I can look first at the picture and I can see that that's Destiny and her mom. And I can see if I get real close, Destiny does not look too happy. She looks a little like, Ugh, I don't know what to do. So let's go back and read a couple pages and then we'll dissect the question together. Even with all the signs and flyers and the block party, I still wanted to do something special for Mrs. Wade. I wanted to give her a gift that would be just from me. I thought and thought, but couldn't come up with any ideas. What are you thinking so hard about, Mama asked. I want to make a special gift for Miss, Mrs. Wade, but I can't think of anything I said. Well, why don't you take why don't you close your eyes and take a deep breath, Mama said. Then remember all the good times you had with Mrs. Wade at the bookstore. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Hmm, so there's a lot of information, there's a lot of descriptive words in there that the author is letting us know how Destiny feels about Mrs. Wade. So let's go back and review a little bit. She said, even though that they've done the flyers, the signs, and the block party. Because remember, boys and girls, we talked about on our last lesson that, and reviewed here that the, there's a possibility of a closing. So they've done a lot of the, the Destiny, um, the bookstore closing, I mean, Destiny and the, um, the uh, neighbors have done a lot to help. So even with all that, she still wanted to do something just from her. Okay, she wanted to give her a what? A special gift. All right, so I know that it says right here, I wanted to give her a gift that would be just from me. I still wanted to do something special. Ooh, so I hear that word special, and then I also see I want to make a special gift for Mrs. Wade. So automatically in my brain, what I'm thinking about as a reader is that Destiny doesn't want this to be just a, a gift that is not, that she did not think of, that she's not spending time and she wants it to mean something to Mrs. Wade. So let's think about this and let's look at our choices. What does this quote say? Does it say that she's kind, selfish, friendly, or smart? So as a reader, I wanna make sure I think about what these words mean. And if I don't know quite what they mean, I can use all of my clues from what I've read to help possibly come up with the best answer choice or the best guess if I need to. But let's talk about this together. Kind, what does it mean to be kind? Well, I know at school we talk a lot about how to be kind. And I know that being kind is to be a friend and it's to be someone that can, um, that you help someone and that you do things and you go above and beyond without having to ask. Selfish, hmm, selfish, I know that when um, people can be selfish because they want to do it just for themselves. They only want to do it for um, them and they want the benefit of it. Friendly. Hmm. Well, friendly is you get along with each other, you like one another, you have friends, you um, look out for, you're happy, you're smiling, you're always, you know, wanting to be out there and, and be friends with everyone. Smart. Oh, well, smart means that, you know, you always have the answers, you know, you're the, maybe you raise your hand a lot, you have all the right answers, you know what to do. So let's think about this and let's look, I'm going to underline a special word that I think might help. I see this word special and she wants to give a gift. Is, she, is it a gift for herself or who's it for? Mrs. Wade, that's right. She wants to give a gift for Mrs. Wade. So I automatically am gonna eliminate a choice, a word. 
I'm going to eliminate friendly. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong one. I mean selfish. Sorry, Mrs. Nav went to the wrong one. I want to eliminate selfish. Why? Because it's not for herself. It's for someone else. And we said that selfish is you only want it for yourself. Hmm. So now I have kind, friendly, or smart. Well, when I look at special and I look at a gift, hmm, this isn't putting smart in the context of you know something or you know the answer to a problem, okay? So I'm actually gonna exit out here. So now I have my two choices that are pretty good ones, kind or friendly. Well, I know Mrs. Wade and her are really good friends and they do like one another, but hmm, I think there's a better choice. Which one do you think, boys and girls, A or C? Yeah, A, kind. We're gonna say kind, boys and girls. That destiny is kind. And why? Well, because she wants this gift to be special. She's taking all this time to think about it. She's not just gonna go ahead and just say, we know that they're already friends. They're already friendly with one another. But the fact that she wants it to be a special gift, that she wants it to, she says it twice in the text that it's special. She wants it to come just from her because her and Mrs. Wade have a great relationship and she wants it to be that special and to be something that is only from her to Mrs. Wade. All right, boys and girls, so remember when you're reading today or you read a text about a character, think about the character's personality traits as well as their physical traits. A lot of times we need to understand their personality in order to help us understand the story. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you back to the beginning. And this actually, this task that I'm gonna give you is going to be about Mrs. Wade. Okay, and I want you to listen to the description and I want you to think of how you could describe Mrs. Wade as I read her, as I read a description about her. Okay, boys and girls, so you're gonna think after I'm done reading, I want you to think of a word that would describe her character traits, Mrs. Wade. My favorite place in the whole world was Mrs. Wade's bookstore across the street from my house. Mrs. Wade knew everything there was to know about words and I loved words. I went over to Mrs. Wade's every Tuesday and Saturday. As soon as I walked into the store, the wind chimes above the door tinkled a special hello. Hey there, Destiny, Mrs. Wade would call out and stop whatever she was doing to give me a big hug. She smelled like flowers and peppermint and had long silver dreadlocks that fell to her waist. What's the word, Mrs. Wade would ask. Let's go find out, I would say. We'd rush over to the big thick dictionary. Mrs. Wade kept on a pedestal in the store. I closed my eyes, opened the dictionary and point. Whatever word my finger landed on was the word for the day. Mrs. Wade always helped me with words I didn't understand. We sounded out each word and picked it apart like a puzzle until I knew there was more to know about the word. I wrote down everything in a notebook, which I carried everywhere I went. So just from those two pages, I want you to think of a word that could describe Mrs. Wade's personality traits, okay? Or you could think of her physical traits too. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you have a great rest of your week, and I hope that you find some new information, some new personality and character traits about some characters that you're reading about and that you can chat about it with your teacher or someone at home. I look forward to our next lesson together, and I hope you have a great rest of your week, boys and girls. See you soon.